Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm talking about the Triad Orbit T3 microphone stand system. Now I know what you're thinking, he's going to talk about a microphone stand, I'm going to go watch videos of cats instead. Please don't go anywhere. If you are a singer, if you do any kind of live streaming or videography or recording, I think you'll be really interested in this microphone stand. So first of all, a backstory. Why do I want this? Why am I even talking about this today? Well, when I do shows, I usually take a lightweight mic stand that weighs basically nothing because I can wear it across my shoulder in a sling bag and have my hands free to carry other gear on the subway trains. I then have K&M stands in my studio here that I use at other shows. They're about $100, they weigh about five pounds, and they're pretty good for most things that we need them for. But this is a real world experience Last summer, I played some gigs outside on temporary stages. And what happened was the people were jumping up and down and everything was moving on the stage. And my mic stand had my iPhone and my iPad attached to it. And I literally spent the whole show worrying that my things were going to fall and hit the floor rather than performing for the wedding. And that's why I went looking for this. So today's video is kind of semi-sponsored. I contacted the company and said, I want to check this out. This looks to be exactly what I need. So I bought this directly from the company in return for making this video. So far, I do really like it. It's exactly what I was looking for. And let me tell you what I like about this. First of all, and most importantly, this is a really heavy mic stand. So once again, I don't want to be carrying this on the subway. It weighs about 15 pounds. But when I'm driving to a show, I can take this with me and it will be incredibly sturdy on any stage simply because of the weight. The design also helps that as well, but the weight obviously is going to be a big factor there. It's going to be a good thing. So as well as that, if you look closely, and I'll put some pictures on the screen as well as we go, the adjustments are very easy to make. On most mic stands, you get these tiny little screws that will just strip very easily. Well, on here, you can really hold on to this and twist it and everything's kind of got like air suspension too. So if you twist it and don't hold on to one part, it won't just crash down, it will slide down gradually. So that's really nice too. It's really, really well thought out. But that's just the beginning. There's some other features that I didn't realize it had until I got a demo with the company, which I want to show you now that I absolutely love. The first one is another real world experience. When I go live, I have to take off my shotgun microphone, which is above my head right now, and replace it with my dynamic microphone for my live stream concerts. So this can actually be a real hassle because you have to twist the microphone off and then twist the other microphone on, line them up, make sure one doesn't get stuck on there and you've got to struggle to get it off. It can be stressful when you're about to go live. Well, check this out. I'm gonna take that microphone off the stand and I'm gonna do it with one hand. Now, I don't think you could do that with a regular microphone stand. Because the way they work is you have to twist off the microphone to begin with. And it's much harder than this when you're twisting it off on a stand. And then you've got to grab your other microphone and then you've got to twist it. So you have to do this. You basically have to line it up so it makes the connection with that. And then you've got to turn it. And if you've got an expensive microphone, you want to make sure you don't drop it as well. You're also touching the microphone as well. It's not the easiest thing to do. So once you've done that, you'll make sure it's tight. Of course, over time, that can also get stripped out as well. Well, we tried all, but you get this connector with it and you can buy more of these. And what you do is you put it onto your microphone. And when it's time for the show, you just do this. Now, how awesome is that? That when I saw that initially, it blew my mind. I was so excited. Yes, it's a modular system. You got by more of those attachments but I think it's totally worth it to save the time. It's really, really cool. If you're a studio engineer, that's gonna be amazing because it saves that time when you connect the microphone. But here's the other thing with these stands. It's not just microphones that you can do that with. If you look closely at this stand here, you may have noticed as I've been talking, there's an iPad on here and there's also a guitar hanging on here as well. Now, it's exactly the same. They also have those same attachments. So you can pull this iPad off and put another mic there, or you can pull this guitar off and put a camera there. They have attachments for lots of different things. So this is a true modular system. 
And I think that is really, really clever because it can be anything you want for whatever you're doing. So for a wedding gig, you have your iPad, maybe an iPhone as well, and you can even have two guitars on here. The stand is so heavy duty that you can hang guitars from this. So this guitar has been hanging here for about, well, over a week now, and it's absolutely fine. Isn't that amazing? Because it's so sturdy. So what you could do is you could have it like this at the wedding, and then once you start playing, you could quickly remove the guitar hanger while you're wearing the guitar, and you could put a GoPro there or something to live stream the wedding. You could also bring this home and then use it for live streaming. You might use it as a camera stand. Actually, microphone stands make excellent camera stands. I actually use one for my main camera above the computer, just a regular K&M, but I'd like to replace that with one of these. The other thing is they don't just make mic stands, they make stands that will attach to the wall. So if you're a live streamer, you could have an arm like this coming from the wall, and then you can clip on your camera and your microphone into that one attachment that's sticking from the wall. But then if you're recording an album later on, you could take the camera off and attach a different kind of microphone or a light or a camera, another camera, anything you want. Guitar hanger. So your guitar hanger can become a light for streaming. You can really adjust the room. This is a guitar hanger up here. It's the same guitar hanger up there as this one is. So if this was a triad orbit on the wall, that could then become a camera for whatever reason when I'm live streaming. So once again, it's totally modular. You can do whatever you want. You can just buy the mic stand or you can buy all these other attachments as well. It's really clever. It's really sturdy. It's really adjustable. It's easy to adjust with a lot of these, even iPad holders. It's kind of hard to adjust them, I find. But this is excellent. This is exactly how I want this to be when I play a wedding. The whole performance would be so much more enjoyable because everything is sturdy and at my fingertips as well. So are there any downsides? Well, the obvious downside to this is the weight. You're going to have to carry this stuff. It's a little bit bulky and bigger and heavier than your conventional setup, maybe. But then once it's set up, you can then enjoy the rest of the show. If you're playing a four hour wedding, you haven't got to be thinking about this again until you pack it away at the end of the night. I think it's completely worth it for that. And also, if it's going to be in your home studio, you know that that's sturdy. The only other downside that I can see here is the price. Now, at the time of making this video, the stand itself, the boom stand, is $450 from Sweetwater. Again, I'll put my affiliate link below. You can read all the information and see all the other attachments that they make for this. They make a bag as well. But let me just put my case across for the price. I think it's worth it, otherwise I wouldn't have made the video. The reason I think it's worth it is this. Look at this stand right now. Okay, this microphone at the top is worth about $800. Now, that's not the mic I use at a wedding. I use a mic that's worth $200, but I take my iPad. How much is an iPad these days? Anywhere from $300 to $1,000. I have my iPhone on my mic stand as well. How much is an iPhone worth? $1,000? If you've got your guitar hanging here as well, what's that worth? I mean, this one's worth $300, but maybe your guitar is worth $3,000. That's a lot of money hanging on that mic stand. You might have a DSLR camera on there, which is worth $3,000. So I think this mic stand is really important for musicians like myself. Also, when you take the guitar off and you're playing at the gig, you don't want someone to knock the mic stand into you and damage the guitar. So obviously this isn't for everyone. I totally get that. But I think the people that this is for are gonna really, really appreciate and love the design and the peace of mind while they're using it. So I'll definitely be using this at my shows this summer and anywhere I need something like this, I'll be using it in the studio for my live streams and I'll definitely let you know how it goes. But I think this is gonna be a game changer because rather than worry about people knocking into my microphone stand while I'm playing the gig, I can just enjoy the gig and focus on what I'm supposed to be doing, which is performing and entertaining. So I think this is great and I'm way too excited over a microphone stand, but I think it's really clever and I think you should check this out if you're a singer, a live streamer or a studio engineer. So I wanna say thank you to Triad Orbit for working with me on this video. I really appreciate it and I love the product. If you're new here, please subscribe and ring the bell and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.